Is this the lost city, Richie? This is the lost city. Wait, miss, did you just say Sherlock Holmes has a little d He hasn't had sex in six or seven years, though. And I got an exit sign on it. They know this gorilla is not to be f with. So the gay stuff goes after all. Ah, it had come to my attention that the city of Blythe, a desolate little town on the California-Arizona border, was suffering from extreme heat waves. Well, as hot as it's already been this summer, it's only expected to get worse. In the southwest, temperatures expected to surge up to 120 degrees. More than 3,500 temperature records have been set this month alone in the U.S., with July poised to become Earth's hottest month in at least the last 6,500 years. We came out from Los Angeles to show these simple folk how to save themselves. But instead of heat, we find rain. It seems a hurricane, one Hurricane Hillary, is howling offshore. California is under a state of emergency as we brace for what's expected to be the first tropical storm to make land in at least 80 years. Saturday in the desert. The warnings have been clear, be ready. Hillary is hitting our desert and mountain communities especially hard. Streets turn to rivers, walls of mud rushing through neighborhoods, and tonight major freeways are shut down. Maybe that's going to be a problem here. Maybe we're going to save the residents of Blythe from a hurricane. Also, I read something about a lost city, a lost city of homeless people here in Blythe. Today, that'll be our El Dorado, and I swear we'll find it. Please like the video and please follow me in. How's it going, fella? We come in peace from Los Angeles. Uh, nice to meet you, yeah. You need some help today? Uh, yeah, I can use you know, a little help. I can use a few bucks, you know, that's it. Sure, sure, sure. You need any products from this Albertsons? Uh, no, I mean, you know, I could use you know, some Mountain Dew or anything, something like that. You know Mountain Dew, a lot of sugar rots your teeth. Yeah. Hell, buddy, I'll even buy you beer before I buy you Mountain Dew. Yeah, man, yeah. You like beer? Yeah. Hey, you want to come in with me? I'm not a beer drinker, no. Uh, they don't really let me in there, so. Who doesn't let you in there? I don't know. Some people, I don't know. What's your name? I'm Eric. Eric, I'm Danny. Pleasure to meet you. I came all the way from Los Angeles. If anybody in this half-assed Blythe Albertsons f with you, Eric, they're f with me. Okay. And they'll go down. All right. So let's walk in there, and I'm gonna buy you some goods. Okay. Let's go. How's it going, my man? Here from Los Angeles. To save the people of Blythe. There's heat waves, there's hurricanes, Whatever weather events, this is my boy, Eric. This is my boy, I'm taking care of Eric today. What has Eric done? Let's square this up right now. Has Eric, has he been a little sticky fingered in the past? I don't know. Has he been stealing some product? I don't know for what reason the boss don't want him in here, but I, I haven't seen him though. I just gotta do what the boss says. Eric, I want you to be honest with me now. Did you have sex with the boss's wife? Uh, no, I, I, I actually haven't had sex about, you know, Six, seven years now. He's no threat to anybody. You know, just, just a little, you know, little, little, little boy. That's it. He's just a little boy. Uh, what, is, what is this? I don't know. What I'm just helping him out. See, they, the boss banned Eric from the store. Uh, I thought maybe the boss was jealous. Maybe Eric is slanging, and they didn't want him around the women. They didn't want him around the baristas. He hasn't had sex in six or seven years, though. Was it six or seven or five or six? It's six or seven. Not eight or nine. Nine, eight. Or nine. Oh, okay. He got laid about six or seven years ago. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're from Los Angeles. We heard about the heat waves in Blythe. We wanted to come out to help, but uh, now there's a hurricane. So, and if I got to get supplies to the homeless here, and eventually, Eric, I want to bring supplies out to the Lost City. Oh, that's over there. You know about the Lost City? Oh, yeah. Lost City. It's a thing of legends in Blythe, California. You're talking about Atlantis, right? No, and we're not talking about El Dorado either. Well, uh, Eric, how about you wait outside? I'm gonna get you some supplies. Unless my man, he's not gonna f nobody. No, uh, no, no, he, he, he can wait outside. You can bring him to him though. All right, Eric. You must have screwed up big time for this owner to hate you this much, or? Well, uh, you know, I hope, you know, I don't fall. Come on, Eric, let's- What could this guy have possibly done? What could he have possibly done? I can't even imagine. All right. All right, we'll be right out, Eric. We're gonna get you some goods. Eric! I broke. I got you a Mountain Dew. How's it going, man? Need anything? Yeah. A case? I'll give you two cans. A case? You'll be drunker than a skunk. 
Yeah, for sure, man. Just don't crack this open when you're driving, you know? Oh, no, we going home. Kevin, I like this. Like, you're my personal escort. I'm safe when I'm with you. Eric, I gotta ask you. You said you had sex six or seven years ago? Yeah. Was it a good last one? Oh, uh, yeah, it was good. You know, uh, you know, with one of my best friends, so yeah. A girl, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah she, was, she was a little scared at the time, you know, of something. Uh, scared of the sheer heft of your yeah, cock? You know, she, she had an ex-boyfriend. Uh, Do you ever think that maybe you laid it down so good that you just retired? Uh, like, that yeah. was your masterpiece. Well, I'm, I'm staying away from the, you know, the, the, the kitty cats right now, you know, so. The so, yeah, yeah. It's a good policy. Do any of the people on the homeless trail ever talk shit? Like, oh, Eric, he doesn't get any p Like, Eric's got no game. Eric hasn't been laid in six or seven years. Do they ever say that kind of stuff? No, no, not really. It doesn't phase you. No, not really. Even if they did, it would just go water yeah. over your back. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. Every day that goes by where I don't get laid, I see it as a day wasted. You know, I'm just one of those guys where I need pussy like I need water. It's part of my elemental makeup. PU. It's on my elemental chart, you know? Mm. Chemistry and stuff. Yeah, man. I say that a man without pussy, it's like a man without a spine. How can he stand tall? Uh, I'm gonna bring these people a case of water. Bring you guys some water. Yeah, yeah, thank you, sir. Of course, man. Camera off, Robbie. You're from by. Uh, we're from the church. It's okay. I don't care where you're from. It's hard to get cash because because people use credit cards. We can't get cash anymore. Yeah, I understand how that is, and I'm guilty too. I don't have any cash to give because of the plastic. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Sherlock Holmes, you little bitch. Appreciate you. Hey, wait, miss, did you just say Sherlock Holmes has a little dick? He's a real dick. He is a real dick. Well, he's a private eye, after all. Hey, huh? I believe in you because I believe in Jesus Christ. Absolutely, sir. I believe in you, too. I wanted to bring you some water for when this rain eventually passes and it goes back to 113 degrees. You need to know about Jesus Christ anything. Just ask me. I have a book called The Life and Science. And I don't even need to go near it. I just tell you something. Sure. I know Jesus says judge not. But I do have to ask, there seems to be a pipe in your right hand. How would Jesus feel about the pipe? Oh, God, it's not mentioned anywhere. That's good. It's the great thing about modern drug paraphernalia is it didn't exist 2,000 years ago. Couldn't be condemned. There's nothing to get uh, addicted to. What does it feel like when you take a rip of that bad boy? No, that's the right one. It doesn't do nothing to you. Nico, you think I should take a rip right now? You can. It's not going to do nothing to you. Yeah, I mean, what the hell? I mean, what is it? Tell me what I'd be smoking, just hypothetically, if I were smoking it. Hypothetically, it'd be a steep. A what? Steep, but it's not steep. It's just a big steep. Nico, it's just synthetic speed, dude. No, you know what it does? It gives you a little bump like like drinking a stuff with sugar in it. That's how it does. What, Nico? That's it. <laughs> Nico, sometimes I swear this guy's like my mom. He was trying to get me, he's like, Daddy, we need to go to bed, we need to go. I'm like, Nico, it's 8.45. That was us last night. I tried to order some dessert at Daddy's. Like, oh, ne Daddy, you need to watch your figure. You need to watch your figure. I said, Nico, it's just a slice of cheesecake. Let me smoke the synthetic speed, Nico. Okay? Well, I appreciate you guys. Enjoy the water. It's going to get hot here again real soon. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. While we were inside gathering supplies, our security guard friend, Kevin, came over and expressed interest in meeting up with us and filming. He gets off very soon. He wants us to pick up a can of black spray paint, though, before anything happens. He wants to go tag something. Seems like some irresponsible behavior from a security guard, but I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna go buy the paint. Nico, I think I can safely say that this is maybe the worst town we've ever been to. I mean, we've been to some effed up big cities, but as far as just a crappy, economically f***ed drug town, I mean, look around. Rite Aid, not even boarded up. I mean, that's metal they have barring the entrance there. But not just Rite Aid, small business there, that entire block of small businesses, that entire block of small businesses. And I've seen about two homeless people for every regular citizen. It's getting crazy out here. Hey, you guys want some beer? We're giving out beer. Hell yeah. And for you? Just a sec, I'm, uh, 
Receiving a call. Hey, Kevin, what's hey, up? Man. I see you right now. Hey, hey, hey I, I see you right there. Hey, I just need you to uh, go to AutoZone right here and see if you can uh, pick up a little small can of black spray paint. I'll get off at 245. Kevin, yeah. since I can see you right now, I feel like we should do some sort of cool hand signal to communicate. Yeah, yeah, I just need you to pick up a, a, a black can of spray paint if you can. I'll see you right here. Kevin, I got you, but we gotta, this, we should do it more military-like. We should use hand signals. Yeah, because my, my, my boss got mad at me when, you, when he see me talking to you guys. That's what I'm saying. F*** your boss, dude. Your boss is a hater. Your boss is resistant to change. He knows I'm gonna change this community. Watch this, I'm gonna give you the signal for I'm about to go buy spray paint. Check this out, Kevin. Look around the corner. Where are you, Kevin? You missed my signal. Damn it, his boss made him hang up. So how's Blythe? I've heard about the heat. You got a nice physique, my man. You're built. You look good. Do you have your eye on this guy? Wee wee. What's your name, man? Kyle. Kyle, blink twice if you've had sex with her. He understands nonverbal signals. Kevin, we got to work on that a little bit. If you don't mind me asking, what's your favorite position? Anyway, that is not your business. Sure, just my responsibility to ask. I'm the guy with the suit and the pith helmet. So what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Just learning about sex. Archie, you mind telling the audience to like the video and subscribe to the channel? Hey, like the video and subscribe to the channel, man. There's no better channel. <laughs> I got the goods. I know Kevin's manager's on him like a hawk. So, I'm gonna drive by, give him the signal. Shh, Nico, nonverbal. There he is. There, he's over there. Dude, Kevin is a flighty bastard. Look at him. Kevin is shifty. Kevin is shifty. He's hustling over here. Should I go that way? Yeah, he's signaling us. He's giving us the nonverbal. Nico, do what he says. Dude, I'm trying to do three things at once right now. It's gonna be four things when I make you suck my There it is. Hold on, hold on, Nico, do what he says. Why is he tripping? I don't know. He tripping big time. You don't want us talking. But I'm gonna get ready to get don't get no recording. I'm gonna get ready to get off door right now. Why is he trying to come between us, this guy? Oh no. We gotta use code names. From now on, you're mocking bird six. Alright. You can keep one, I just need one. Yeah. You, you gonna tag up the right aid? No. This uh, I'm doing a uh, thing at home. Huh. I'll give you my word. I'm a Christian, I don't do that. You need some help? No, uh, my wife there, she gonna help my wife at home. Okay, we're meeting up though, right, Kevin? Yeah, um, I'm gonna call you 245. We're gonna meet up with Mockingbird 6 and really see the inside of life. So right now, Nico, we're just on Hobson Way. Hobson Way is Main Street. We gotta get into the, the needy and the greedy, as Leandro Tapia would say. Mockingbird 6, you got the peacock feathers. Don't record me. What are you doing? We're filming a video. Mockingbird 6, we can't not record. Don't record me. I just push that over. Yeah, record you. So don't record you? No, don't record me, I'm going So what, are we gonna pretend you don't exist, Mockingbird 6? I'm yeah. using a code name. Cover your face with the peacock feathers. No, I got it. Mockingbird 6, there we go. You gonna get the mask on? You gonna be anonymous back there? Yeah. He's Mockingbird 6. Listen, call me R Firefly. Hey. What's up? Oh, yo. What's hey, up? Hey, you know what? What? They filming this video. You know that video, Jackass? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know, but I'm taking this to a whole nother extreme. Yeah? I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. So I just want to let you guys know. Yeah. Climate change. Yeah. All the stuff that's going on, man. Yeah. I don't know what to say, but I know something coming. So you better watch out. Mockingbird, <laughs> you're referring to the record high temperatures in July, and now the hurricane that's coming right up the ass of California. <laughs> Something's amiss. That's the lost city, right? That's gotta be the lost city. No, it's, it's back there. Oh man, it, it, this is gonna be crazy. 
What's gonna happen back here, Mockingbird Six? <laughs> uh, it's just a lot of stuff back here, like like people and stuff. Just pull pull over. But I don't know if the camera gonna freak them out or whatnot. It might freak them out, but the beer will settle them back down. They like beer, Mockingbird Six. I don't think I don't think it'd be a good idea um, taking the beer because we, we, we this for a good mission. For, it's for you know I me mean? stand behind something good, but just take them a take a case of water. They Mockingbird like Six, did Jesus not drink wine? Yeah, but let's just take them water. We're gonna take them water too, but also some of them, you know, maybe one of them's got a hurt ankle and he needs something cold to ice it with. Maybe one of them has childhood trauma that he can't repress and he needs a little bit of alcohol to ease the pain. Mockingbird Six, it's a gateway to keep them down. I'm I'm, I'm our Firefly. You're Mockingbird yeah, yeah. Six. Or the firefly, it's, it's a yeah. way to keep them down. Mm. That's it. This is just a gateway to keep them out of their thing, and then their misery is still going to be there. Shit. Or, or fly, I'm just keeping it real. You are keeping it real. Mockingbird 6, we're going to go back there with only water and food then. Yeah. Let's do it. Over here to your left, we got a lot of uh, stuff going on over here. Um, a lot of uh, 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 stuff where people stay and stuff like from the harsh terrain so um we coming back here to do the best we can to help them so uh that's our mission helping people on the street wow mockingbird six your on-camera personality is really starting to bloom all you needed was a mission yeah, yeah. all you needed was a mission oh, look, look, look at this look at this wow look at this dude look at the living back here wow it's crazy uh. this is the lost city hey yeah you got some goods got some goods for you we're with Channel 6, Los Angeles. Yeah. Hey, KCRQ. What up, what up, G? How's it going, uh, man? Uh, no, we, 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 we are out here uh, helping out, you know what I mean? The people, the only people start giving them water to make sure they got water. Yeah, y'all got you one? We got you, man. They the weather, dude. I told them when I got off, I was going to come and uh, help them I ain't them being punked, am I? No, no, no. Oh, we're the weather. This dude got a hell of a suit on, man. No. Uh, That's uh, the mega square. He, he, he went, he went to the church. Hey, take a picture with me and the guy with the suit, man. Take it right here. We have a, a low pressure system moving in around the Pacific coast down to the eastern basin of San Joaquin. Yes, it is. We're going to have a low pressure cold front coming in at 8 p.m. this evening. And we will be ready for that. We even have our little ball and chain for our ankles when locked down to the trees. So when the hurricane <laughs> wind comes, we ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that's right. Is there fear of that, that the winds are going to blow you away when that thing comes up? No, nah, we, we, we just sit back and watch the TV show, Bitches, Bandos, and Bums in Blythe, California. <laughs> hmm. Bitches, bandos, and, and bums. bums. In Blythe, California. Oh. I know what bums and bitches are, but what's a bando? A bando is an abandoned house, man. Uh. Like a thing where you go there living there, but we got a TV show called Bando. It's all actually bandos, bitches, and bums, or bitches, bandos, and bums. You know what? Right now, I think the Weather Channel, they might be a little upset with this, but I think we make a screen right here. I say we put a graphic on screen that says bitches and bandos and bums in Blythe, California. Amen. Ding, ding. Well, I don't know. can you show us in uh, a little further here? Yes, we can. We Let's can check it out. Here. And what was your name, sir? My name is Richie. Richie? I mean, Richie. They call me Firefly. Firefly. Richie, you have the spot in the front. Yes. Are people jealous of your real estate? No. See, my prime real estate has all the junk around it. And I just love it when they come and get it, man. Well, they I mean, come and get their junk. some of this stuff's got to be redeemable for cash at a recycling plant. Yeah, well, you know, it's recycling down, man. I took a bunch of aluminum there the other day and made $51. Cost me $57 to fill this vehicle up. Wait, 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 wait. See, so you lost $6? $6. I lost $6. See, that's how they get you. Man. That's how they get the green people want you to recycle. Bring in your bottles and cans and get charged six bucks. I think not. Man. Is this the lost city, Richie? This is the lost city. This city has been lost for a long time. Until it now. It used to go from 95 all the way that way to the river. But then once the flood happened, it was all lost. Everything wow. went away and then went out to Ripley. Wow. So straight out of the Old Testament. This is the lost city. I dug a hole. I used to have a... Uh, a uh, five bedroom out here in this field out here. A five bedroom, wow. Five, three under and two on top. I mean, even in Blythe, that's got to go for the mid 200,000s. No, no, it was right there in prime real estate, right at the middle of this field right here. All it right. was three underground and two on top. Five bedrooms. I dug it with a shovel. What happened to it? Well, some certain hootin' nanny said that I did something I didn't do to her, and they took me out of my home. They said I the money. And I hadn't even touched that woman. Never. Hadn't even touched that woman. And she sit over in the field. They sit right over here. Her boyfriend sit there. And they caught her coming from that store an hour 
She's walking out of that store with lottery tickets and soda pops in her hand and ice cream. Well, you can't buy a lottery ticket if you're a minor. So already the story's coming unraveled. And you can't be uh, you can't be out buying ice cream and, and lottery. I mean, soda pops if you're held hostage for three, four days. That's true too. And uh, I mean, did you um, sodomize her consensually? I didn't even sodomize her verbally. Hmm. I asked her for my loot back for um, that they owed me, but that was about it. Beat the shit out of me too, man. These the cops did? No, these in these individuals around town. Three of them caught me out there. They stole my Jeep and took it out there to 10th Avenue and beat the hell out of me. Big Ryan. Uh, I don't like this. Johnny Caballero bragged about breaking his fist. I mean, he's breaking his foot, kicking me in the face. Johnny Caballero. If I ever see the likes of him in the Lost City. Him uh, and Big Ryan and that dude Kyle Rogers, they whooped my ass, man. They did. But you know what? I didn't beg for my life. I didn't go out not one time. And they made me dig his truck out of the dirt after I was done. After they were done. Kyle Rogers. Yeah. He's on my list now. Them some turd burglars. Him and Mr. Caballero. Yeah, and that Ryan. Ryan Rowan. He's a big dude, man. I, it goes without saying, Ryan's a piece of shit. So, Richie, this is your spot right here. Yeah, this is my spot. I had to close it up right now. But um, I usually have everything open and out. And the people can go by and get what they need and what they want. Everything has a place for everybody. They just got to come by and pick it up. It's got a bed in there, and um, and just on this side, it's got a table with storage for, like, rocks and stuff. I collect rocks and meteors and all kinds of stuff. You know, you have hobbies, rocks and meteors. My hobby, and I can't let the Weather Channel hear about this, something of a tagger. Mind if I do a little art for you on that mattress over there, Ricky? You can do it anywhere around here. You want to Rich? my place if you want to. Mockingbird 6, we're doing art! As long as there's no gay activity involved in this art that we are doing, I don't want no gay activity, no gay slander, no gay nothing. Not that I have anything against gays. I'm not one myself, but I do have something that is uh, against the gays if it's marked on my spot. Um, Rishi. Because I'm not gay. Uh, I was going to draw a stick figure man bending over another stick figure man. You can do that. I can? Yeah. Ah, so the gay stuff goes after all. Ah, that wouldn't be gay. That'd be too stick figure. Hey, what kind, of, what kind of spray paint is that? Gay spray paint? You see that, Nico? Gay activity. It's gay activity. Richie, gay. I broke your one rule. Yeah, I'm, well, it, it can be broken as long as there's no gay activity involving this guy. <laughs> Richie, I didn't want to say you had a great ass, but now I can't ignore it any longer. No, uh, that would be wrong within two left shoes. That's the most well-protected property that I own right there. I mean, I'm telling you, man, if you say something about my ass, my eyebrows are getting mad, man. Sure, sure. My elbows and all kind of shit, man. We just freak out my whole body, man. Just, I start looking like a zombie. In Los Angeles, I live next to West Hollywood, which is a famously gay city. And it's very common if you go out after sundown for homosexuals to try to take you up the butt. What's the best way to defend against it? Well, um... You don't even be in those situations. I mean, I wear some I like ironclad underwear, man, let me tell you. Sure. And I got an exit sign only. They know this gorilla is not to be f with. Sure. So once one get close to the old sphincter right down there, oh, man, everything gets mad. My elbows get mad, man. My back get mad. My shoulder blades. And I start doing some crazy shit, man. I f somebody up on accident. It's going to turn into a kung fu movie if it yeah, happens yeah, to me. If you keep walking behind me, hey, it's going to... Hey man, if he keep walking behind me, it's gonna turn into a kung fu movie. I know Nick Jitsu, man. Most people don't know Nick Jitsu, but that's the black foul style of fighting karate and crazy and shit. We call it, we got the style of Nick gibberish. We even got the book of dumb. Every done some dumb shit, we go right to the front page. I was in there twice, man. Mm. Cover twice of dumb and uh, made the front page once. Congratulations. If one of those guys comes in here, Richie, like, Hi, Richie, you look great today. Oh, man. <laughs> man, I have to, this lucky fella. Uh-huh. He's a smarm, but he gets the lady. And he, he gets a little nice little honey right there. So guys who live in Blythe and have homes, they'll come out to the Lost City and get some Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. All the time, strange happenings. Boy, they got a lot of look. Whole houses around here, traps in the back and all kinds oh, of shit like that. Of traps in the back. So we can get some. There. There's the baby. Hey, yeah, okay. Richie, have you ever had that? Well, you know, I've seen it and it's a little too bushy for me. That right. can't shave enough hair. That can gonna keep it uh, bald. Yeah, well, when you're in the Lost City and you can't get shoes, oh, yeah. razor blades probably aren't at the top of the she grocery list. Have some in my place. How you doing, man? Out a good afternoon? Yeah.
No, damn straight. I like your style, man. We're with the Weather Channel. A lot of heat out here. We're bringing some water. It's going to go right back up into the hundreds once this hurricane passes. Hey, these guys are from uh, LA. They're doing a TV Hi. thing. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Right, hey, you guys have a fantastic evening. We'll try. puppies they're trying to get rid of, too. Oh, yeah, I got those. They're fine. They're fine. She was hot. If it weren't for that dang hairy beaver, I mean, that girl would be a lost city nine. Hey, that mother. Yeah, she's all right, man, but she's a hair thing for some reason. I don't like, well, you could... All over her body, man, they got hair. Richie, I know this is a sensitive subject, but uh, you could always sodomize her. Yeah, but it's too much hair down there, too. I'm telling you, she look like she got buckwheat down there. Yeah, that's not good. That's no. not good. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? On the other hand, the old lady who was walking there, the knock kneed old lady? Yeah. Oh, God damn, she gives a great gummy dummy for $20. Miko, slime me your wallet. <laughs> Boy, gummy dummy? A oh, gummy dummy. Can, no teeth. Richie, out of Richie and Mockingbird, before we depart, can we go ask her about that? Because, I mean, it's been a long trip and... Hey man, I, I try to hustle up that $20 saving cans and everything every day. I'm a loyal customer. Damn it, I wish I had some more cash. Nico, do you have any cash we can give Richie? Bro, we had another girl out here named Nicola. She used to give you a for $7 and you can get two on credit. And my boy off, he got two on credit and didn't even pay for one. And wow. man, he up. Now they went up to fifteen dollars a piece, and there's no credit. Wow. So we kicked problem. Out. That's a problem. His credit score must have gone down into the three hundreds. Oh yeah, man. Way down. Front. Yeah. So, hey, Abby. Front and center. Front and center. We regret to disturb you, but you may have a new customer. What? Dear Abby, we would like to employ your services. Requesting what? one gummy dummy for hey. Sir Richie Esquire. Hey, you for a for me. Hit back. I ain't that a bitch. Easy. Just like that, Mockingbird Six, we found the lost city. And yeah, some things are lost. The right to a fair trial, apparently that's lost based on what happened to Richie. A couple teeth might have been lost by a few women here and there, but you know what? It only makes it easier to give a b But something else was found too, Mockingbird 6. Kindness. We found kindness in the lost city. What'd you say? Mockingbird 6, don't be shy, you're a star. And what we did just helped. And when I come back with $50, it's gonna help even more. Oh, we got it, don't worry about it. If they give us any trouble, Mockingbird, they're gonna get popped with a, a backhand, not a gun. How's it going, man? Just picking up some steaks. What do you like to go for, ribeye, New York? This guy's a beef aficionado on YouTube. He can tell you anything you want about cow meat. Tell us about this one. See, he knows, instinctively. All he has to do is touch it and he knows it's no good. What was wrong with that one? What was wrong with that one? You get uh, roasted up, that's the only thing. <laughs> he wants a more versatile meat. Tell us right now, what's this? Mockingbird, don't be shy. What's your talent seen? New York's? That's good stuff? Why is it good? Mockingbird, why is it good? We all want to know. What was that, Mockingbird? Mmm. He's a New York guy. I guess we're going to have to find out why later. We're following it. He is something of a beef savant. They call him the cow whisperer on the Food Channel. <laughs> they call him the cow f on zoophilia.com. It was like some seasoned potatoes or something with him. Seasoned potatoes? Yeah. Why seasoned potatoes? Because it goes good with that. This guy's a YouTuber. They call him the Potato Patriarch on YouTube. What kind of seasoned potatoes do you want, Mockingbird? What's going on, man? How you doing? How's it going, man? What's up? Oh, I see you in a minute. What's up with it? What's going on? How you doing? Yeah, all right. You ain't somebody right. looked at G? Nah, I hit him up. I'll oh, right on. Maybe back. Yep. This guy's come up in the food influencer space since you saw him last. It's always good. He's got a cameraman follow him around while he shops. It's crazy. 
It's got a little toady like me buying it. Video in here. Uh, Mockingbird, you might have to talk oh, us out of this oh, one. Lord, that's what I told you. No, he's he's a food influencer. He's being modest, but you got to talk him. Well, you got to explain it, cause I, I, I we're just crew you. here. I told you, you can't you can't video in here. I told you. I told you. He was what's a little different too, like five minutes ago. He was like, we can. I'm just asking you guys. You can't, you can't, you can't, can't video in here, please. Mockingbird, you can't explain to Mockingbird that who you are and what you do. You, you can't you can't you can't video in here. He's you? he's being so modest. He's 1.25 million subs on YouTube. They call him the Beef Baron. He knows everything there is to know about cow. Wonderful. This is the spot? Yeah. house right here? No, uh, over here. Uh, some apartments over here. Hmm. All right, bro. Mockingbird 6? I got your number. I'll call you. Call me. Yeah. But remember. I got, I got your number. I'll call you. You know, you don't work better for me. What if we used WhatsApp? It's encoded. What's that? Yeah. It's okay. more secretive. Okay. Our mission shouldn't be talked about publicly. Uh, hey, Mockingbird 6. You did a hell of a job today, buddy. All right. We really helped some lives. Blythe, California, more than any town we've visited in recent memory, Nico, feels like its own little universe. It feels entirely self-contained and so remote that the idea of leaving and going on to accomplish anything else is just an obscurity, an abstraction. Uh. What's your opinion, Ben? Surprised. No, I don't care. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I'm surprised with how well some of these homeless people could survive. Well, the human spirit is resilient, and we can get used to almost any kind of conditions or pain. One condition I don't like to see any man suffer through, though, is a sexual drought, especially one lasting six or seven years. And in order to ensure that that doesn't happen to our pal, Richie, we got some unfinished business. Mockingbird 6 was very anti me bringing the beer. Okay. But you guys are entitled to some fun. Yes, we are. 30 pack too? Oh my, you be drinking all night, dude. And also, oh. I felt a little bad about my self-subsidizing prostitution, but then I thought, hey, Richie, I'm dressed as a European colonizer. The woman you're about to get some, as you put it, gummy dummy from is yes. a white woman. It would be racially blasphemous. Well, see, I do look at this like this. If so I didn't no. give you that 60. Oh, that is 60. You remind me of the guy from Curious George, and I'm his silverback gorilla. I do appreciate you guys' time, and thank you for the dollars, and I'm gonna go get me a well, well-needed mm -hmm, Richie. I'm not even trying to split each one of these in three days, you know?